everybody, welcome back boys and girls. It's your main math manager and commute live from Zone Academy. In this video, we're working on that lesson 21 now. And it says we will be able to calculate the value of the radius of a sphere with a given volume using the structure of the equation and explain how we get that solution method. So that's going to be our lesson objective for lesson 21 and unit number 5. So for the first part, it says four students each calculated the volume of a sphere with a radius of nine centimeters, and they got four different answers. So I get, uh, you have your four different answers here. So it says, uh, Han thinks it is 100 cubic centimeters. Jada got 108 pi cubic centimeters. Tyler got 972 cubic centimeters. And Mai says it is 972 pi cubic centimeters. So each of these four answers are different. So we, what we need to do is we need to solve for this. So we're going to say solve for volume. And since we're talking about volume of sphere, let's try tracing it out. So graph out that sphere. Have that dashed line in the back. We're going to say our radius is from that point in center to the edge. So we're going to say r equals 9 for that one, 9 centimeters. So our formula looks like this. We're going to say the volume of the sphere is going to be equal to, we're going to say 4 times pi times radius cubed over 3. So we say that is equal to, and we have 4 pi and then we have 9 to the third power divided by 3. So make sure you can multiply that out. That's 9 times itself three times. So we say that it's going to be equal to, let's say, 4 pi times 729 over 3, which we can divide these two. So we're going to say that it's going to be equal to 4 pi times 243 which when we multiply 4 times 243, we're going to say that's going to be equal to 972 pi. I'm going to say centimeters cubed. So that's our volume. And so what we can say is uh, that my is going to be correct. So we're going to say my's, I'll try to write that again, my's calculation is All right, for the next part, it says for our sphere's radius. So we actually are given the volume of the sphere, and we have to find the radius. So it says V is equal to 288 times pi. And so we can set it equal to the formula, and we're trying to find what the volume of that sphere is equal to. So what I'm going to do for the first step is I'm going to, let's do it like this. I'm going to divide... First inverse operation is divide both sides by pi and multiply, multiply both sides by 3 over 4. Because that way we can get rid of that fraction. So I'm going to get rid of the pi, and what I can do is let me rewrite it underneath here. So I have 288. 288 equals 4 over 3 times radius cubed. And what we're doing is we're multiplying both sides by that reciprocal to get rid of that fraction. So multiply both sides by 3 over 4. On the right side, the fractions cancel out. And on the left side, it's almost like we're multiplying by 0.75. So on the left side, we have this is equal to 216. And we say this is equal to r to the third power. All right, so what we have now is we have 216 equals r to the third power. And so what we're going to have to do to get rid of that uh, exponent is we're going to take the third root or of both sides. So again, this is going to be the, write this as the cubic root. And if you want to see how to do that on Desmos, it will look like this. Let me pull up my... Desmos calculator, and what I'm going to do is, in the bottom left, click on the keypad, 
And so it should come up like that. And be careful because we're not going to say it's the square root. We're going to actually have to go to functions. And we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And we click on where it has, it looks like a square root symbol with an N in it. Because we're going to put, instead of N, we're going to put a 3. So I can say 3. And then I'm going to say inside that radical symbol, I have 2, 1, 6. And so notice it's saying 6 is going to be our answer because if we try this out, we can say 6 to the power of 3 is going to be equal to 216. So for this one, we're going to say the cube root of 216 is going to be equal to 6. So I take the cube root of both sides, and so I'm going to say r equals, and then we say 6 units. So 6 units. Now for the all right for the next part it says a cylinder with diameter three centimeters and a height of eight centimeters is filled with water. Decide which figures described here, if any, could hold hold all the water from the cylinder. So make sure you can find the volume of the cylinder first. And what we can do is we can write that since the diameter is three, half of that is going to be the radius. So we're going to say our radius is equal to 1.5 for this cylinder. And so what we could do, let's find the volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the area, area of our base, our big B, is equal to pi times our radius squared, which is 1.5 squared, which is going to be equal to 2.25 pi. Now we have to say for our volume, we're going to say it's going to be big B times our height. <clears throat> so we're going to say this is going to be equal to, so we say volume is equal to 2.25 pi times our height, which is 8. So that altogether, our volume for this is going to be equal to 18 pi centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of this cylinder right here, so this volume. So what we're trying to figure out is for number one, two, three, and four, we have to find a volume. So let's say, let's say this, let's say we need, we need volume to be greater than or equal to 18 pi centimeters cubed. Because if it's less than that, then we, we know it's not correct. All right. So for number one, it says the cone with a height of 8 centimeters and a radius of 3 centimeters. So let's plug in these values for our variables. So let's do, since we're talking about cone, I still need to have the area of our base. So I'm going to say area of the base, big B is equal to pi times the radius squared. So we're going to say 3 squared, which is going to be equal to 9 pi. Then we can say, all right, volume of the cone is going to be equal to 9 pi, or sorry, big B times H over 3, which is 9 pi times height, which is 8 over 3, which we can say, we can divide these two out and say this is equal to 3 pi times 8, which is going to be equal to 24 pi. So for this one, or sorry, and then that's centimeters cubed. So the volume for that cone is 24 cent, uh, pi centimeters cubed. So we're going to say yes for this one. This one does work out. All right, for number two, we're talking about a cylinder now. So we need to say a cylinder with diameter of 6 centimeters and a height of 2. So that just means that the radius for this is going to be half of it, so our radius is 3. So that just means, same thing, big B is equal to pi times 3 squared, which is going to be equal to 9 pi again. So that's going to be the area of our base. And so we need to say our right, volume of the cylinder is equal to area of the base times the height which is equal to, let's say, 9 pi 
times our height, which is 2. So this is going to be equal to 18 pi. And since the uh, centimeters cubed, and since these two are equal, we know this is good. So we've got to use that inequality that we have on the right here to be able to say this is good. So we're going to say for this one, this is also a yes. Then for number three, it says a rectangular prism with the height, or sorry, with the length of three, a width of four, and a height of eight. And so if you don't remember, that's okay. I can help you out. So we're going to say the volume of that prism is equal to length times the width times the height. So we're going to say that's going to be equal to three times four times eight, which is equal to 96 centimeters cubed. So this one is also a yes. All right. All right, and then for number four, it has a sphere with a radius of two centimeters. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you set it up, but I'm going to ask you to try it out. So it says volume of sphere is going to be equal to, I'm going to say four times pi, we have the radius, which is 2, so we're going to have 2 to the third power divided by 3. So now what, what, what I want you to do is pause for your turn. And all you have to do is say yes or no is going to be, is it less than or greater than... 18 pi centimeters cubed. Just pause it for your turn, try it out on your own. All right, so now at the bottom of the page, talking about the practice problems, it says a scoop of ice cream has 1.5 inch radius. It says how tall should the ice cream cone of the same radius be in order to contain all the ice cream inside the scoop? So what we need to do first, is I need to find the volume of that sphere. So we're going to find the volume of that of this ice cream scoop. So we're going to say that's going to be 4 times pi times the radius, which is 1.5 to the third power, all over 3. So if I simplify that out, that's going to be equal to 4 pi times 3.375 over 3. And if I, if I multiplied it all out, I would say the volume of this sphere is going to be 4.5 times pi inches cubed. So that's going to be the volume of that ice cream scoop. Now, if we're talking about separately, let's split this in half. If we're looking at the volume of the cone, let's say volume of the cone. It says the same radius, and we can find what we need for it. So we're going to say, what should the, or how tall? So we're solving to solve for h. So we're going to say the volume of the cone is going to be equal to our formula, which is area of the base times the height divided by 3. And what we need to do is, well, we can say, this is going to be equal to what we had from this. So we need to have this volume. So we're going to say it's going to be the same as 4.5 pi inches cubed. We're going to say that's equal to, then we have, again, big B is going to be pi times the radius squared. So we're going to say we have 1.5 squared times pi times h, all over 3. So we can simplify it. So I'm going to say divide both sides by pi. Get rid of that real easy. So I'm going to say that's going to be the same as 4.5 equals 2.25 times h over 3. And so what we can do here is we can multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by the, in this flipped fraction. So I have 3 over 2.25. Multiply both sides by 3 over 2.25. It's 
So that way we can get rid of this fraction here. So all we're left with is h. So when I multiply this out, I end up having h equals, so I'm going to say h equals 6 inches. So the height of the cone has to be at least 6 inches if it's going to be the same radius and it needs to hold the entire amount of the scoop of ice cream in there. All right, moving to the back now. This is calculate the uh, volume of the following shapes with the given information. For the first three questions, give each an answer in both terms of pi and by using the 3.14 as an approximation. Make sure you include those units. So for this one, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do part B first, because that way I can show you and give you time to try these out. So I'm going to say for part B, I'm going to say my radius R, my radius R is going to be equal to 3. And so that means the area of my, my base is going to be equal to pi times 3 to the second power, which is the same as 9 pi. So then we could say the volume of that cylinder is equal to the area of the base, which is, I'm going to say, area of the base times the height. So we're going to say volume equals 9 pi times 6, which is the same as 54 pi, or I say inches cubed. So there's one answer. But now make sure you're using <clears throat> make sure you're using that 3.14 as an approximation. So I'm going to say volume equals 54 times 3.14. And so that's going to be equal to 169.56 inches cubed. So make sure you have two answers for each of these. So what I want you to do now is pause for your turn. Solve for the sphere that has a diameter of 6, so that means the radius is 3. Same with this, this one, we're going to find the cone. So we're going to say for this one to pause for your turn. Then for that bottom question, it says, how are these three volumes related? So this one I'll give you, if we can say this, we can say the volume of the cone plus the volume of the sphere is equal to the volume of the cylinder. Again, remember that video from the previous lesson when they filled the rest of the cylinder that had the sphere in it, they filled it with the volume of the cone. So the cone plus the sphere is equal to the cylinder when they have the same radius. Then for number three, it says a corn-operated bouncy ball dispenser has a large glass sphere that holds many spherical balls. And it says the large glass sphere has a radius of nine inches. Each bouncy ball has a radius of one inch and sits inside the dispenser. If there are 243 bouncy balls in the large sphere, what proportion of the glass sphere sphere's volume is taken up by the bouncy balls? And I explain how you know. So let's first find the let's find the volume of the glass sphere. So let's say let's do we'll do for this one. So let's say the volume of the glass. So we're still talking about a sphere. So we're going to say four times pi times the radius, which is nine to the third power, all over three. So that's going to be equal to. 4 times pi times 729 over, let me make sure that's a little bit better, 7, there we go, all over 3, divide these two out, so that's going to be 4 pi times 243, which is equal to 972 times pi inches cubed. So that's going to be the volume of the glass, so volume of glass 
sphere. Now we need to find the volume of these bounce, uh, bouncy balls. So say a volume of bouncy balls. So we're going to say same kind of formula. However, we're going to have 243 on the outside because there's 243 total of them. And so we're going to say this is times uh, our normal volume formula for a sphere. So we say 4 times pi times the radius cubed all over 3, which if we multiply this out, it's going to be 324. So 324 pi inches cubed. Because there's, even though it's a small volume, we have to multiply it out. So this is the total, so this is total volume of all bouncy balls. And then the last part is to figure out how we know the proportion. And so what we can do is we can actually divide these out. So I'm going to say, I'm going to write a ratio here. So I'm going to say I have 324 times pi over 972 times pi. And so this should be about equal to 0 0.3 repeating, which is what they're looking for a percent. So we're going to say about 33%. Then for number four, it says a farmer has a water tank for cows in the shape of a cylinder with a radius of seven feet and a height of three feet. The tank comes equipped with a sensor to alert the farmer to fill up the, the water when it uh, falls to 20% capacity. What is the volume of the tank when the sensor turns on? So we need to find the volume and then take 20% of it. So let's find what that's going to be. So we're going to say our volume for this is going to be equal to. So first we need to have the area of the base. So we're going to say, well, if we find big B, it's going to be equal to pi times the radius squared, which is equal to pi times 7 squared, which is 49 pi. So then we say the volume of this cylinder is big B times H. So we're going to say we have 49 pi, sorry, 49 pi times our height, which is 3. So when we multiply that, that out, we're going to say the volume of the tank, the volume of the tank is going to be equal to 147 pi feet cubed. So that's the volume of the tank. So we need to find what 20% of that's going to be. So again, remember 20% is the same as 20 over 100, which is the same as 0 0.2. So we could find and multiply, I'm going to write that out, let's say 20% of 147 pi is the same as 0 0.2 times 147 pi. So we multiply that out, we'd end up with 29, write that again, 29.4 pi feet cubed. So that's going to be the amount or the volume. So that's the volume, try that out again, volume when tank sensor goes And then lastly, for that X ticket, it says some information is given about each sphere. So it says to order them from least to greatest on when talking about volume. And so and if you need to, you can sketch that sphere if you need to, but make sure you're using, so let me say use, use sphere formula, which again is volume equals, so volume of sphere is equal to 4 times pi times the radius cubed all, all over 3. So you're going to have to find 
what those volumes are going to be, and then you write the, the list, whatever the letters are, at the bottom here. So put letters here. So find the volume of sphere A when it has a radius of 4. Find the volume of sphere B when it has a diameter of 6. It gives you the sphere volume of C. And then for volume of sphere D, make sure you double the radius of sphere B. So again, the radius of here is 3. That means the radius here is going to be 6. So try that out for yourself. Be sure to ask questions as they come up, and always super slam that subscribe button.